bro, bro. What's up, good people? Oh my goodness. Mm hmm. I love that beat. I just love that beat. Mm hmm. Good morning, good people and Eagle fans. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, as well as. Well, my lovely lady behind me here. Pardon our dust because we are working on the red brick house. We got Thanksgiving the day after tomorrow, in which case we going to get stuffed. We going to watch three games of football and there's going to be a bonus because there's a Black Friday game. That's right, a Black Friday game. The NFL was trying to give us all we want and then some. And last night, oh my goodness, you know, blame me. Everybody wants to blame me for the Dallas Cowboys and their woes. You know, it was Mark Holmes' fault last night because I was trolling Philly 500. I troll Philly 500 every single week and have for years. I, I, as much as I like to think that I'm all powerful and have actually some uh, power to control whether a team gets wins or losses, I really don't. I, I really don't. Now, maybe Joe Boo does. But people will say, it's worshiping that crazy voodoo doll is why we haven't been winning. Okay. I, I, I'll buy your argument if you want to say from 2012 on. But from 1995 to 2012, don't look at Joe Boo because he didn't exist. Okay? In fact, I dare say that the Dallas Cowboys over the last, you know, six years, and since actually since 2012, They've had some of the better seasons that they've had uh, in recent history. I mean, we had the 12 and 2, 14, uh, 2014 season. We had the 13 and 3 in 2016. You know, we had two back to back 12 and 5 seasons. And this year, it looks like we're headed to the playoffs. You know, with our 7-3 and three record, of course, we don't beat nobody. It's hilarious to me because, you know, watching some of the other teams that, you know, oh, my God, oh, San Francisco, they're back on track. They went there and they destroyed Tampa Bay. It was just Tampa Bay. How come when we beat Tampa Bay in the playoffs, when they had Tom Brady, it was just Tampa Bay? Yeah, You know, it, 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 last week it was just the Giants. The Giants that went to Washington to play the Commanders with the left hand up. And they put that left hand down too, bro. They put it down. The, the Giants got 10, sack, 10 sacks on Washington. Did they get to Dak? Hmm. Be that as it may. It's all right. You know, I would have loved to have seen Kansas City win last night. But Kansas City, I'm going to ask you. Is Pat Mahomes a garbage ass quarterback now? Because I'm just I'm asking for a friend. The reason I'm asking is they lost. They lost a game. He threw an interception. They got in the red zone three times and came away with zero points. Does that make Pat Mahomes garbage? I'm just asking because if that had been the Dallas Cowboys and Dak Prescott, we would have said, "Look, Dak throwing interceptions in the red zone." Dak Prescott, not scoring in the red zone, taking a loss, big stage, big game. Uh, wouldn't they? Now, I know Pat Mahomes has got two Super Bowl victories, so it's not him. And I don't even look at it and say it's Pat Mahomes. They drop the football like crazy. And that's going to be the narrative. Well, their players drop the football. You know one of the teams that have been leading the NFL and drop passes over the years, last few years? That would be the Cowboys. Now, Kansas City leads it by far with, I think, 26. We're not that far behind with 18, I think it is. You know? But those things matter. They matter. And so now, here's the thing. The Eagles did themselves good. The Eagles, you have to look at and say, they've got to lose a couple of games. They've got to lose to us, and we need them to lose to somebody else. They got San Francisco, they got Buffalo, and they got us. They got to lose at least two of those games. And reality is, they're going to need to lose a third one because they've got a better conference record than we do. So we need the Eagles for us to overtake them. We need to beat them, and we need them to lose too. The Eagles just got a cushion. I, I can't say that they didn't. But watching that game last night, you know, everybody's coming out this morning and saying, MVP, 
MVP for Jalen Hurts. It wasn't exactly. Now, he did have two rushing TDs. But passing-wise, it didn't look that good. I know it was raining. I know the weather was bad. I know it was on the road. But I'm looking at Jalen Hurts. That team and that offense does not look the same as it did before. Remember a couple of weeks ago when they were talking about A.J. Brown and how great he was, you know, with 125 a week? It's kind of cooled his Jets a little bit. And they really looked like they missed Dallas Goddard. Now, we'll see how long he's actually going to be out. There's some word that he may be back for the Cowboys game. He's had surgery on his arm, and we'll see what we're going to see. But looking at that, Kansas City clearly is not the same team that won the Super Bowl last year. And I'm not trying to take anything away from the Eagles. The Eagles, they do, you know, the thing I, I hate about the Eagles, and I have to admit, is they find a way to win even when they're playing like ass-ass. They just do. And if we could learn to do that, we'd be great. We would be great because we go through and we play great and we find ways to lose. They go through, they find, you know, they're playing terrible and they find ways to win in the end. And Kansas City, Kansas City, I don't know what's happened to Pat Mahomes in that offense, but they're averaging like 5.6 points in the second half of games for the season. That's not a recipe for winning. It used to be Kansas City was always butter in the second half. But, hey, uh, you know, Kansas City, we're not going to play them unless it would be in the Super Bowl. So I'm not going to worry about them as much as I am the rest of the NFC East. We have the Commanders on Thursday. And I'm going to go back to the old rivalry that we used to have that kind of not, is non-existent, although we need to have payback. For that last game that we had at the end of the season last year, it left a bad taste in my mouth. But right now, you have to start thinking about, does anybody have a chance to catch the Philadelphia Eagles? And uh, we're going to check in with Get Up this morning and see what they have to say about that. They're in the top spot after that win. Lions second in the conference. Niners and Cowboys each have three losses. I'll remind you the Eagles will play the 49ers and Cowboys, both of them, in the next several weeks. So here is the question. The Eagles went on the road and they won. Let's live in a world where Sal is right and the road to the Super Bowl in the NFC now once again goes Our through what you call it, the concrete jungle? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Give me the team that goes in there and beats them in the NFC Championship game. Which Ooh. team goes in there and beats them if they go to Philly to do it? 49ers. Yeah. You like yeah. in, in that game? That oh, because they've done it before, yeah. right? Yeah. They've done it before. Oh, Is that why you're saying that, Jeff? Oh, Are you saying that because they've done it before? I don't think anybody's going to do it, but it's They TV. knocked the quarterback out of the something game. To watch. That's the object of the game, to knock the quarterback out of the game. And that's, they did it twice in the end. You know what? And they were blocking Hassan Reddick with a tight end. Yeah, it doesn't right. have Not to a be a point. fight. Boy, <laughs> he's <laughs> mad this morning. It doesn't mean it has to be a fight all the time. You know what? You're right. You asked me why I brought this green pen in so I could color in my Eagles logo. That's what he does. During the break, okay. So what so, you know, and, and so to remind break. myself yeah, to be, yes, a maniac, yeah. yes. So to remind myself to be positive. Don't give in to the hate <laughs> on this panel. To be positive. But sometimes you draw me in, and it comes out. Let me throw a let me throw a monkey wrench into this whole conversation. If you look at the schedules that everybody has yeah, remaining, a little, yeah. a little. Uh, the schedules all these teams yeah. have remaining. You got it right here. I'm here to tell you. I think the Lions are going to be the one seed in the NFC. Oh, now that, I agree completely. That doesn't mean they're going to win the NFC championship, but I think they're going to be the one seed. Their schedule is markedly easier than the other teams, and they're only one game behind Philadelphia as we speak. The other team is markedly better. Yeah. So, yeah. But that doesn't matter. They don't have to play I them. Can, I can feel Sal's blood pressure yeah, rising right Sal's now. The Lions? The Lions? I, you, the Lions? Can, you can I do guess. the schedule and get the Lions to, to 14 and 3 easy. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. The Lions may be the one. Really tough game is at Dallas. But, I mean, not that they can't. But, yeah, but the fact is the Eagles announced something last night. Like, you can talk all you want about how tough our schedule is. We can beat literally anyone. To be clear. And, and that is, I mean, on they the found a way to win. stadium with Andy Reid coming yeah. off a bye. To be he clear. never loses. I'm not saying I think the Lions are the best team. No, I get it. I'm saying I think the Lions have a very good chance to be the one seed. Would that change anyone's opinion? Do, do we feel like the team, if, if we're looking at San Francisco, Philly, 
Dallas, mm -hmm. Detroit. If those are the big four in the NFC. Yeah, I mean, I think the Eagles are good enough to go anywhere and win all yes. the They proved it last team? night. Yeah, having Are them? they the best yeah. team? Are the Eagles the best team? Oh, my in the gosh. NFC? You know, Michael, I've been waiting for you to ask me this question <laughs> oh, no. because I have been sitting here <laughs> all <laughs> summer long. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Jeff Saturday, so. yep. Graziano, Swagoo, doesn't matter who you put opposite. You have asked me this question. I've said the same thing. They have the best roster, they have the best coaching staff, they have the best quarterback in the NFC. Mm. They have the best team in the NFC, and they will be the number one seed in the NFC. Like so it. there you see the FBI agrees. Okay. Let me flip it. They, to the they, other it side looks it's beginning to look the like they're going to be the, the number AFC. one seed. Patrick Mahomes has never played a road mm. playoff game, taking Super Bowls out of the equation. He's lost twice in the AFC championship at home, once to Brady, once to Burrow, but he's never had to go on yeah. the road. Right this minute, the Ravens are in the top spot. They haven't had their bye yet, so we'll see. Here's my question then, and I, I, I asked everybody, we'll put the picks up. Who is the biggest threat well, to we, the Chiefs? Well, we, we, we don't care. We don't care who the biggest threat is to the Chiefs. All right, good people, we're going get to get, get some work done here at the Red Brick House. We've got the Commanders the day after tomorrow. It is a short week. Um, you hate to have a short week. Um, Going into, you know, I mean, Thursday night games are hard to game play for, but at least the Cowboys, they got home, of course, with a big win in Carolina. Uh, they've got some home cooking and things. Tomorrow, you've got the Commanders, who stank, literally had to leave their stadium with no hot water, had to, uh, they either took cold showers or they just went home filthy. Coming to town. They're going to be flying in tomorrow, sleeping in a different bed in a hotel and having to play the Cowboys in Thanksgiving. The Cowboys need to get this big win. This win sets them up. All the real games and the real season starts now. It's now juggling for playoffs. I'm Mark Holmes, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And Hate Week is on. My home team, my loyalty, I'm at Uptown Royalty. We fight for all DC, who are we? I speak facts, facts. I'm not making riddles. The hogs open big old holes for John Rigo. Chantel is on the team, and you knew that he was smashing. Daryl Green is on the team, and you know nobody faster. Thought you was gonna score, but I knew that he would catch up. And Doug Williams was the first black quarterback to win the big. No, you don't. No, you don't.